friends, Rev Kev coming to you from the remodeled and refreshed and redecorated Bloom office. We are thrilled to note that the space uh, that you've seen before in various uh, conditions uh, is working out so well for the programs and so forth that we've started to be able to uh, uh, have here as a result of beginning to emerge from, you know, pandemic days and all of those restrictions and lockdowns. Um, choir has been rehearsing here and uh, Ken Forney, our music director, says the acoustics are way better and the choir is able to hear, We and I sing in the choir, so we're able to hear ourselves uh, much better. Um, you know, we've had hybrid meetings and Bible Bites and uh, 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 open leadership meeting, um, ministry group meetings, and other kinds of things have gone on and it's been great. But the thing that's going to happen soon as of this Sunday, actually, this Sunday, uh, April 10th, we are going to have a little bit of an open house and uh, blessing and gathering and some refreshments <clears throat> after church this Sunday, Palm Sunday, uh, here at the office. Now, the thing about it is we're going to have our regular worship service over at the Duluth Community Center, which you can join online as well as in person. <clears throat> and we do still have the masking mandate for indoors uh, at least this Sunday. And then we will uh, uh, schedule it's that hospitality is going to be here. So immediately after the service, everybody who wants to can come over here and we will uh, get started rather quickly and have a little bit of a welcome and a prayer of dedication and some refreshments and just some time of associating with one another and having a look around um, this space here. So we're really grateful for every everyone, uh, you know, being able to uh, make the trek uh, so that we can all join in prayer and dedicate this space for the future of Bloom. Uh, we look forward to that. So that's this Sunday, Palm Sunday. Side note, um, if you have palm print clothing, um, wear it on Sunday, much along the same lines as we wear red on Pentecost. Let's see, that just seems like it'd be a fun thing to try to do. So um, let's, let's see how that turns out. Palm Sunday this Sunday with uh, uh, hospitality time here at the office for a dedication and open house. Then the other thing I wanted to mention is that um, uh, we have, as an ongoing program for more than a decade at Bloom, the uh, fund that is called the CRV Fund which does not stand for a certain kind of car model, but does stand for the uh, terminology for recycling of aluminum cans and plastic bottles. And, you know, some may know, but others may not, that we have been collecting those uh, cans and bottles. And here at the office, we have a, a, a receptacle for aluminum cans, and we have another receptacle for um, plastic bottles and uh, you know obviously these uh, uh, you know get filled up at times in fact uh, this one right here is is actually pretty full um, but what happens is that uh, we, we've, we uh, have someone uh, Jim Nixon has been wonderful for the last several years to come in and uh, through the pandemic and to bag these up and we take them over to recycling and the money that comes from that goes into the CRV fund, which is a fund that was established by the congregation uh, um, several years ago to basically be an emergency grant kind of fund for Bloom members. And so what happens is that if uh, it comes to our attention, my attention primarily, that uh, somebody is having a little bit of a financial need, somebody who is a Bloom member has some sort of a bump in the road financially or something, uh, we can issue from that fund a small grant um, that is able to help somebody maybe get over the hump. Uh, that's, basic, that's the intention of it, and that's what the purpose is. Um, and that fund is reported every month on our uh, sheet and every year on our balance sheet and that sort of thing. Well, the deal about it is now that we're coming out of COVID, we could use um, or you know, just encourage folks to be a reminder that aluminum cans, 
clear plastic bottles, not, you know, like the kind of bottles that uh, our energy drinks or, you know, that kind of thing. Well, uh, well, yes, if they're clear plastic, like this, and aluminum cans, which I'm not going to reach down in there, not tin cans, um, not, not food cans, but aluminum cans for beer, soda pop, uh, you know, water, tonic water, that kind of stuff. Um, those are the kinds of things we can use, and those are taken and recycled. Now, another possibility is that if you want to gather your own recycling and take it in and have it and get the money for the bottles and cans and that sort of stuff, and you decide that you want to give that to the CRV fund, that is helpful too. It's the only source of income for the CRV fund, which, as I say, is a fund that we use to provide um, um, typically one time or uh, short term um, grants for people to kind of get over the hump. And, uh, you know, throughout the years, you know, help somebody with a water bill, help somebody with a car repair, help somebody with a little bit of cash to uh, go on an emergency trip, uh, help somebody with uh, something this or that. Uh, you know, a bill that's coming to her, anything like that. It's, 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 it's just an emergency grant kind of thing. And those are the kinds of things that we've helped folks with. Um, that being the case, if you want to, you know, do your own recycling and put the money in the uh, offering plate and say CRV fund, that's fine. If you want to bring the bottles and cans to the office here, uh, we can do that. But we're also looking, is there somebody that would like to help out with that? Jim Nixon has been so faithful. He's got other things as fund development chair now that he's, uh, I mean, ministry coordinator that he's doing. It would be good if, uh, you know, there was somebody that could be his assistant. Just means a matter of, you know, bagging up the bags and taking the stuff over, getting the money and, and bringing it back. We've had other people do that through the years. And we could, you know, if there's somebody that feels moved to be able to do that sort of thing to not only help your church, but help your environment, uh, that would be helpful too. Uh, here's like one secret. My secret for doing this is that when Mike and I walk to the gym, the quarter of a mile from our house to EOS gym, we keep an eye out for the bottles and cans that are thrown out along Ramon Road. And we pick them up and bring them home, put them in a bag, and then bring them over about once a week. And sometimes there's a lot, and sometimes there aren't any. But over time, it all adds up. So if you can help out with this, that'd be great. And anybody, it's just a reminder about recycling aluminum cans and clear plastic bottles. So, Holy Week next week. Look in Bloom Notes for all the details. Hope to see you on Easter. And as always, we hope. And, and Maundy Thursday next, uh, next Thursday night, our special service. Look for those details in Bloom Notes. And we hope to see you in church, in person, online. And as always, please keep us in your prayers.